Welcome to another tutorial from Oozenest. In this video, we'll do a guide on using a touch probe with the WorkBee CNC machine. We had a lot of requests to do a touch probe, so we thought it was a good opportunity to go over it. What a touch probe does, it can determine the surface of a material, edges of a material, or the corner of a material. A normal touch probe looks like this, and this is called a Z touch probe. So, a Z touch probe, you place on the top of the material like that. You run the command from a universal decode sender. The bit will come and touch the contact on here, and from that, it can determine the surface of the material. However, in this video, we're going to do an XYZ touch probe, which looks like this. This has an inset cut out. Then from this, you can put it over the corner material, and the material will locate in that inset. And then like the Z touch probe, it will first touch the top of the material, then it will come over and touch the X of the material, and then the front of the material, the Y. And then from that, it can determine the corner of this material. The normal methods of locating corners would be using bits of paper and jogging the machine around and just feeling your way to the corner. The benefits of using a touch probe is all automatic, so it's a lot quicker. And because it's using electrical contacts, it's a lot more accurate. So now we're going to go over how we made this XYZ touch probe. So this is made from a 61 times 61 times 10 mil block of aluminium. And we milled this on the work the CNC machine. What we did is milled out a 50 mil inset, 5 mil deep. So we've got 5 mil of material left and 5 mil taken out. Also, we've milled a 10 mil hole in the corner of this inset. The reason we milled this hole is because if you just left it as a corner, the corner sometimes will not locate properly with a corner of material. So this hole just allows it to locate properly with the edges and what's on the corner doesn't affect the location. Also, when you turn it over, you can see the corner, which is a handy reference just to know you're on the corner. One thing to be careful of is to make sure you leave enough material on the inset that you've milled out. Because when you put it on the corner, you want enough weight to be on this side so it doesn't tip over the edge of the material. If this bit is too small and this bit is too big, the weight on this side will flip it out and you have to hold it each time. But with this one, because we've done it properly, we can just leave it in place and it will hold itself. The final thing to mention is that you need to connect a wire to the Z touch probe in some way. What we, have, what we have done is crimp the wire with a circular connector, drilled a hole into the aluminium, threaded it with an M3 tap, and then secured it with an M3 bolt. So now I'm going to move on to how you connect it to the controller. So to connect the touch probe, you have one wire connected to the touch probe itself, and you have a crocodile clip which you then connect to the end mill like so. Next, you need to connect these two wires to the, to the controller. So the one that you connect to the end mill, the white one in this case, we connect to the probe pin on the CNC X probe. And then the one we connect to the touch probe, we connect to the ground pin next to it. And then when these two touch, they make a, they close the circuit and the controller knows that it's hit the, the touch probe. To do the probing, we're using universal G-code sender, and then we use the macro function inside the program. In here, you can set predefined G-codes which will be sent to the machine, and then they can be sent at the click of a button. What we have set up in here is Z probing, XYZ probing for an 8 inch bit, and an XYZ probing for a quarter inch bit. The commands we've used in the macros here I'm not going to go over in this video. What I'm going to do is make a PDF file and put it in the description and in there it will detail everything about the commands and how to use them with your own touch probe. So to use these commands what we need to do first is get the, the machine roughly over the touch probe. So I'm just going to jog the machine now and get it in position. <laughs> Then 
there. So I lower the Z so it's closer. Like that. In the commands we've got, you can set up your allowances for the probe. So we just need to make sure that ours is inside this aluminium piece so it doesn't travel, so it's got enough travel to get to the edges. So for instance, I could just run the Z-Touch probe by using macro zero and pressing zero on universal GPS sender under the macros tab. So now it's running the Z-Touch probe. And that has been completed. Now, for instance, if I remove the touch probe and then press return to zero, you can now see it has found the surface of the material. This touch probe can also do X and Y and Z all together. So what I'm going to do is just move this back up and demonstrate running the X, Y, Z touch probe. Just need to drop down the Z another 10 mil. Now I'm gonna press number one, sorry, number two for that because it's the eighth inch bit under the macros. So first it probes the Z as before. That's going over. I'm gonna probe the X. the X and now it's going to move forward and probe the Y. And now from the three probes it should have now detected the corner. I'm just going to remove this and then I'm going to press the return to zero button. And as you can see, it's found that corner as expected. The final thing you must remember to do is remove the crocodile clip from the end mill, because you don't want that spinning when you start the job, and move the Z probe out of the way. From watching this video, I hope you found out how easy it is to use a touch probe and how it's much better than doing manual methods.